Hey, bud, this is my place. You coming in? No, I got some calls to make. You're going to be on Instagram, aren't you? Well, uh... <laughs> Steve just got on Instagram, everybody. <laughs> See you in a sec. All right, everybody. So the first stop on our tour of San Diego today is actually my house. So this is my real house. This isn't Hollywood magic. We didn't do an Airbnb or anything. This is my place. So we are in Del Mar, California, which is kind of a northern suburb of San Diego. It's 70 degrees today. We're probably a mile and a half or so from the TCOID office, and, and this is where I live. So why are we stopping by my house today? Well, we realize that there's, there's, there's a lot of intimacy about how we live our lives with type 1 diabetes, where we put our insulin supplies, where we put you know, things to get low, um, where we exercise, all those kinds of things that all happen inside the house. So I wanted to show you my setup of where I do these things, how I've kind of arranged my diabetes life at home. And I'm so excited to see your comments about things that you do the same or maybe differently. I think this will be a really fun exercise. So with that, just like my little scarecrow friend says here, welcome, come on inside, come with me, and I'll, I'll show you around. All right, so the first stop on my tour is actually my bedroom. This is where I sleep. And I wanted to show you this painting up here because this is something that I actually painted. Um, I went to a museum once and saw this like fancy schmancy painting and I thought I could paint that. So I came home and I painted it and now it's been there ever since. So like I said, this is my bed. You know, we got that queen. We got that thread count of probably 10 target cotton, pretty good stuff. And so this is my side and my little, you know, um, stand here and wanted to show you guys these first. So Steve and I always talk about these are what we use to keep by our bed when we're low. And these are little Martinelli apple juices. I literally get like a crate of them at Costco at a time. And I keep these by my bed because it's a contained amount of, of liquid. So when I wake up, I basically just drink this and I go back to sleep. Because we all know if you get out of bed and you go to the fridge, it's just lights out. You're gonna eat absolutely everything in sight. So I always keep some of these by my bed. Um, sometimes they're kind of half drank. Sometimes I actually put them down here because, and I learned this from you guys, that we actually had a story about a person saying that they got such a severe low that they actually fell out of bed and couldn't reach up and get something. So I, I kind of thought about that and geez, like how terrifying would that be? So keeping something a little bit lower, I mean, I, I don't wanna be too grim, but that stuff can happen. Um, I got my iPhone charger um, and watch charger right here. Why is that important? Because my phone has my CGM stuff on it. I do like this little pad so I can just, you know, lay it there so I can see my, my CGM through the night. I roll over, pick it up. And then finally down here, I got my, my pump plug. So sometimes actually like when I'm sleeping, I'll actually be charging my pump while I'm sleeping. I feel like a little bit of a cyborg when I'm doing that. Like I'm just like recharging overnight, but it's nice to wake up with like hundred percent battery. If I don't do that, I'll actually just take it off when I shower and just put it here on my bed stand, go shower, get a little bit of charge and then come back, plug back in. So that is my bed. And then if I can bring you guys over here. Oh, I actually wanted to stop real quick and show you guys this. So this is my guitar. Um, I've been playing since high school and um, you know, we do these songs for TCYD, which I really love doing. I'm, I'm okay to pretty good. So you know what, let me just play you something real quick. You know, it's no big deal. Just a little thing I just, you know, it's, it's there and it just comes out, it's magic. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is actually this guy down here. Um, call him Scaly, and uh, he's, a, he's a scale. And I have a real kind of love-hate relationship with this guy down here. Let me get down here so you guys can see me with Scaly. Um, and I, I try to weigh myself at least a couple times a week, um, ideally every day. I like this because it has like a memory function that goes to my phone, so I can track over the last six months, see what I weighed a year um, ago, those kinds of things. Because, you know, us type ones, we struggle with weight, myself included, I think about weight all the time with how much insulin I'm taking, exercise, all those kinds of things. So let's keep going right here. All right, so welcome to my closet where I come every morning to pick out what I'm gonna wear. You can see I got some super sick threads here. I like um, this. This is my favorite ugly Christmas sweater that I actually wore in our uh, I'm Tired of My Diabetes Christmas song. I'm tired of my diabetes and the crap that comes with it. Which was a uh, obviously an international smash hit. 
Um, the other things I got up here that I just noticed is making me laugh. I have this box of literally 50 Hot Wheels because when my two boys were potty training, we used to give them a car every time that they would poop in the potty. So I got some uh, poop cars left over because they're both potty trained now. So I got about 40 or 50 of those, so that's nice. Now in terms of diabetes stuff, that's all down here. So follow me if you will. Down here I got some diabetes supplies which I intentionally did not um, clean up because this is how I kind of live my life. But first I have my Dexcom sensors which I love that you can get at the pharmacy now. Um, depending on your insurance. So it's important to set these up on automatic refill if you can. So you make sure you never run out of those because there's, there's nothing worse than running out of your CGM sensors. So I got those there. Then I got all my pump supplies which is just kind of willy-nilly thrown in here. I know a lot of you are sighing right now like Jeremy, like you, you know, kind of like OCD folks out there. This is probably giving you a heart attack with just like loose boxes everywhere. Um, the infusion sets I have, are, these are called True Steel. Um, but I like the metal infusion sets and I recommend them for <clears throat> most of my patients because they, they don't kink. So I find that they fail less and if they pop out, you can actually kind of push it back right, right in. Um, they don't really hurt any more. So I really recommend that people use these. They cut through scar tissue really well. So that's all in here along with all my other, you know, kind of pump stuff, um, which again, I kind of get set up on refill. And then of course I have the, the thing that everybody with type 1 diabetes has, which is their didgeridoo. Um, I've got mine right here. Let's just give this thing a little, little whirl. So, you know, whatever, that's what it is. Um, I'll put that guy back there. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I survived that vicious didgeridoo attack uh, to continue our tour. I'm okay, thanks for asking. Um, and why don't you follow me? Our next stop is gonna be kind of in the family room area. So why don't you come this way, uh, come with me. Um, real quick pit stop here, two famous individuals. This is Cooper who just turned six and our little guy Hudson who is three. Uh, and okay, now this way. All right, so I wanted to stop here kind of in the family room, show you a couple things. So first of all, this is my work bag. No, you know, no big deal. But what I got in here is a couple things. First of all, I got glucose tabs and I put these suckers everywhere. And as I always say, I love glucose tabs because I hate them. Meaning that they're great, you know, to take when you're low. I take four of them or so. But because I don't like them, they're chalky, I never have an urge to just eat them just because. Like if I want something sweet. Like if I had, you know, M&Ms in my bag or something, they, I would just eat them sometimes. But I like these. I have them in my car, I'll show you. I actually keep them by the bed sometimes. I actually have a, a glucose meter in here as well in case something goes wrong with my CGM or whatever that I need to test. So those are the things that I always kind of have with me. In addition to extra chargers, um, sometimes I have an extra CGM sensor in here. Now this is, is really critical to actually my life. And if anybody knows anything about Jeremy Pettis, I love Baja Blast Zeros from Taco Bell. It's my favorite diet drink, hold on. There it is, yeah, it's just delicious. Such a good diet drink that as far as I know, you can only get at Taco Bell. I've got some Afreza, just, I have these things just everywhere, this is not, strategic, this is just lazy not cleaning up, that these things are kind of all over the place. So they just, I noticed that and wanted to show you guys. So next stop, over here. All right, next on the tour we have, you know, our Peloton bike, which I do like, um, you know, I don't love, but it's good to find something that you can do. And I like that it's, you know, in the house. Uh, for you guys that have uh, Peloton, I love Cody Rigsby, he's my guy. Steve likes Jess King. Uh, but it's good, you know, to do something, obviously, stay in shape however you can, burn calories. Um, this is something I like to do. I also do go to the gym, etc. You know, you gotta stay hydrated, so I got my Mickey and friends, like, water here, just to, you know, stay hydrated while I'm working out. It's right in front of, like, kind of our stereo system, so we got Sonos. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you have well, first of all, you can find all of our Taking Control of Your Diabetes uh, songs on Spotify and Apple Music. And if you have Alexa, you can do something like this. Check this out. Hey Alexa, shuffle songs by Taking Control of Your Diabetes. All right, Alexa, stop. Stop, Alexa. 
There, there you go. And so you can rock out whenever you want with taking control of your diabetes. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, next stop is gonna be to the kitchen, which is in the east wing of the house over here. All right, real quick detour on the way to the kitchen. I had to stop and show you guys. I don't like to brag, but check out all the games we got here. You know how we do here. We got Sorry, we got Shoots and Ladders. We got the latest version of I Spy Eagle Eye that just dropped. Good luck finding that in stores. Um, we got Operation, and as a physician, I am horrible at that game. My kids beat me all the time, but I swear to God I'm good at sorry, believe it or not. And I get pretty competitive and I never let my kids win because they gotta earn it. All right, next stop. Yeah, so welcome to the kitchen. And let's just come around, swing around here if you would. Uh, check out what we got going on in the fridge. So, you know, again, I don't like to brag, and I, but I hope you're sitting down because check this out here. Uh, Cooper P, it says Cooper was a great listener today. He was a very kind person to his friends and was sharing Legos with everyone. This shows that he has, you know, skills in cognitive, social, and creative areas. So, you know, sky's the limit. All right, now, in the fridge, what do we got? So first, let's just, you know, it's, it's a full fridge because we got kids and a lot of stuff going on. Things to point out to you before this beeps at me. Um, I've been loving, in terms of alcohol, these kind of like hard kombucha drinks. This one's called June Shine. This one's called Boochcraft. I love them so much that I had to actually get them out of the recycle bin because I already drank them. Um, but these have like six, 7% alcohol, but very, very low carbs. So I love those when it comes to alcohol. Um, fruits, veggies, things like that. Um, and then in terms of diabetes supplies, again, um, super organized. As you can see, this is alphabetical. So, you know, everything has its place. And what I got in here is I got some Afrezza. I got some insulin for my pump. Importantly, um, I have some glucagon. This is called Baxemi, which is actually a, an intranasal glucagon. And this one is the important one, you know, your glucagon, whatever it is, that somebody else knows where this is. You can't just throw this in the back of your thing and, and then, you know, if you pass out or having a seizure, you want somebody to know exactly where it is to get it quickly. I know you don't need to refrigerate them. It's going to beep at us. Um, but I keep pen needles in here just because it's all kind of in one place. I keep um, uh, actually some syringes in here, my Infreza inhalers, all that stuff. Um, it was kind of a fight to be able to get this space for myself instead of putting fruit and stuff in there, but that's where all my diabetes stuff kind of exists. Now, to the cupboard, which is right here. So, nothing really special about the cupboard, but I just wanted to pull out these two things that Jeremy Pettis will always have with him at all times. So, first is Ritz crackers, and second is peanut butter. Now, this peanut butter is kind of crappy meaning it's actually like good, like organic and stuff, but I don't like it that much. Um, I stopped buying like the Jif because if I get it, I just eat it, like literally with a spoon. Now I always have Ritz crackers and peanut butter because it's my favorite thing to eat when I'm low. It just tastes so delicious. I just take the, the Ritz like its own shovel right into the, to the peanut butter. No need for a spoon. So if I wake up in the morning, I got peanut butter on me, chances are it was a night that I was low and I'm probably gonna wake up at 300. Otherwise, just usual cupboard stuff, nothing to see there. Now, the last thing I wanted to make sure to show you guys is my TCOID mug. I got a bunch of these. I drink my coffee out of here um, every morning. Thanks TCOID for that. All right, next stop is I think the kids room real quick. So we're right next to the kitchen now, which is, I, I don't even know what we call this room. It's just a room of chaos with all the kids stuff. So we got an abacus, which you can see it has 10 colors. So that's like, I don't know, that's like two more colors than the usual abacus, no big deal. Um, over here we got some Duplos. Um, my, my kiddos just made this like creation. You can see it's got dual slides. Um, there's a yellow and a pink, so like you can choose either one. It's pretty sweet, pretty proud of my boys. So, you know, I said I'd show you my ride. This is, uh, this is her. And you know, it's no classic VW, but yeah, it's the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee, so I'm, I'm doing all right. And let me show you what I'm rolling on down here, if we can pan down here. Tires. Yeah, so here it is, and as you can see, I got it pretty tricked out. Uh, I got a sweet sound system. It's got AM and FM. I've got all the gears. I've got park, I've got reverse, uh, neutral, and drive, so you know. Um, I got a half drinking, pretty warm Diet Coke, which is awesome. And then when it comes to diabetes stuff, like I mentioned, it's good to have these glucose tabs everywhere. Do yourself, I don't care about the brand. Do yourself a favor, go on Amazon, buy a bunch of these, put them everywhere because you don't need them until you need them, but it's always good to have. I also have another 
glucose meter in here with some strips. Again, just in case you know you need a test, your CGM fails, whatever. That's nice to have. You gotta get that charger. I got that, you know, three foot cable right here. So I sprang for that extra foot just to give it the you know leg room that I want. Because you can never have your phone go out because it has your CGM information. So having that charger is good. And um, yeah, so if you ever just see me driving around town, give me a honk. All right, guys, there you have it. You've seen my house, you've seen my ride. So now I'm just gonna kick it here the rest of the day, get some rays, hang out by the pool. But I think it's time for you guys to go. So go on, get out of here. Go on, get out. Jeremy, Steve's waiting in the bus for you. You, you gotta go. I, I, I know, Eric, I'm trying to do that like cool, like ending thing, like, you know, like. Jeremy, we, we gotta go, come on. Ah, <sighs> fine. Hold on. Uh. God, this is just, uh, uh, did you cut yet, Eric? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, did that look cool?